You've lived a life of indulgence. You've never met a burger you didn't like, and your diet has been rich for most of your adult life. Unfortunately, after a recent visit to the doctor, you've learned that your arteries are completely blocked up. So severely blocked that surgery can't even help you. Your heart is failing and modern medicine has given up on you. The doc sends you home with a terminal diagnosis. You have just months to live. Sadly, this story is all too familiar for millions of Americans. In fact, heart disease kills more people than anything else in this country. But what can you do when surgery is no longer an option? Is this really the final chapter of your story? Are you left sitting at home waiting to die? In other words, is it too late to start eating right and taking care of yourself? Has the ship sailed on that and you've done so much damage to your system that there is no coming back? Is there really nothing you can do but wait to die? In 1987, this was Anthony Yen's story. A Chinese immigrant, he adopted a sad diet upon arriving in his new home. And it wasn't long before the effects caught up to him and he developed heart disease. He even had quintuple bypass surgery, but still found himself on the brink of death, being told he had months to live. He was just 56 years old. And yet Mr. Yen is still alive today, 28 years later, and he's now 82 years old. After being given a diagnosis of having months to live, he's lived decades. Nearly three, in fact. How did Mr. Yen beat the odds? What is his secret? He met Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn of the Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Esselstyn put him on a low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet. A mouthful of kale, so to speak. This diet included no animal products of any kind. That means no meat, chicken, fish, milk, cheese, or eggs, and consisted of only whole plant foods, nothing processed. It was also low in total fat, at just 10% of total calories. And thankfully, Mr. Yen followed his program to the letter. For Mr. Yen, even as he was knocking on death's door, it wasn't too late to start eating healthier. His body was able to avert disaster and climb back slowly but surely repairing itself and restoring him to full health, with no lasting impacts from his previous life of sad eating. He was given another 28 years on the planet, and counting. And he's not an outlier. Dr. Esselstyn has shown this time after time with countless patients on the brink of death. He has published research showing that his low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet completely stops heart disease in 100% of his patients who follow his program. And it wasn't like they got an extra year or two. He published a follow-up 12 years after his initial study in 1999 showing that all of his patients who followed his protocol were still alive and symptom-free. No signs of heart disease or any cardiac events had been recorded after they switched their diet. Not a single event in 12 years. For those who fell off of his program, well, they didn't fare quite as well. If you ask me, this proves that it is quite literally never too late to start eating a healthy plant-based diet. You could be breathing your last breaths with months to live, cheeseburger in one hand and milkshake in the other, and throw them in the trash and pick up a salad and still have a fighting chance. Your body has an incredible ability to heal itself, and it appears that if you get the inputs right, aka you start eating the right foods and stop eating the very foods causing the disease, you can completely reverse the damage you may have caused yourself in the past. This begs the question, however, if you can wait until your final moments, change your diet, and potentially live another 28 years, is it ever too early to worry about eating healthy? Can you say, ah, I'm young, I'll worry about that when I'm older, Can you view healthy eating as something to deal with down the road? We'll cover that in my next video, so stay tuned. I mean, we're gonna have climate wars in the future. And what about, what about livestock and animal agriculture? 
Uh, well, what about it? I mean, 